Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of constant rates of change. This is standard 7.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an online game here, which increases at a rate of 500 users each day. So we just need to find the best graph that represents that. And so 500 users a day, all right, seems pretty straightforward. It's a constant rate of change here. So let's uh, see if we can graph some points here. So it looks like my X axis in each of these you never assume that they're going to give you all four with the exact same x-axis. So the x is going to be the time, uh, days. So I'll just put the number of days. Number of days. Okay, that's my x-axis. My y-axis here is going to be number of users. Okay, so number of users. All right, so if we've got zero days, so I guess we're starting from launch here. So on day zero, guess what? You're going to have zero people. But it looks like each day they're going to add 500. Okay, so we're going to add 500. And then on day two, we're going to add another 500. So we need to do 500 and 500 is 1,000. Or a thousand. And let's see if we can grab a day three here. So ten hundred, fifteen hundred. And we can go on if we need to, but it seems like we are uh, kind of running out of room. So let's see what we can get from here. Because take a look. We are all of these. Uh, scale factors are all different at the bottom here. They all start with zero, right? So we're starting at the origin. That makes sense. But take a look at <laughs> take a look at a. They swap the values that we want for the x and the y axis, right? So they say in 500 days you're going to have a total of one user. That's what that's what this means, right? The x in this case is the number of days. After a thousand days, that is over three years, you're going to double that up to two users. Okay, that is not a business plan that works, uh, and that is not anything that's going to work. So if those were to flip uh, the values in the scales, that would be fine, but they actually inverted that. So that's not A. Hmm. So let's check for 10. Interesting. For B, 10 days gets you 500 so we need this 500 but it says it's a it's 500 users each day not each 10 days so they just took it and they just multiplied uh, these days by 10 but even then that's not going to work if i had one day two days three days four days that would work but it's 500 users every one day not every 10 days so that's not going to work either. Let's check C. Oh my goodness. This is taking us four days to get to 500 users. Well, it says we've got 500 users each one day. So four days for 500 users, not going to work. Hope it's D. Oh, look at that. There, there's scale factors by two. Uh, so I do have two days at 1,000 which is correct. Let's check what four would have been. All right, I'm just going to keep writing on my graphs here. Four days, add another 500 would be 2,000. Four days, 2,000, yes. So it looks like every two days, I've got 1,000, I've got 2,000. So if I were to skip down here to six days, right, I'd just add another 1,000, that'd be 3,000. Six days, 3,000. Yep, that is going to be our answer D.